I have this uh, muscle brake here that I need to uh, find out what thread it is, what thread size, because I need to make a tuner to fit on the barrel that this muscle brake goes on. So uh, first thing I need to do is uh, find out what size the thread is and then I can go from there. First thing is we're going to measure the minor diameter, the ID. So it's uh, 716. So uh, next thing we need to figure out is the uh, thread pitch. I use uh, one of these. It's a uh, thread gauge. And uh, this thing has anywhere from 4 to 84 uh, pitch. So pretty much has everything I, I will ever need except metric. But I have another one of those. So anyway, <clears throat> just looking at the threads, it looks like a pretty fine thread. So I'm thinking it's going to be 32, which is pretty common. So we get a 32 gauge and we put it in there and sure enough it lines up perfectly so we know it's 32 threads per inch and the minor diameter it's 716 so you know if you understand how threads work we have 716 okay and it's a 32 TPI threads per inch okay what this means is for every inch there's 32 threads hence the TPI threads per inch okay in one inch there's gonna be 32 of these okay but the thread pitch is whatever it is from here to here so the easiest way <coughs> to do this is simply put a one over the 32 and do the math so if we do 1 divided by 32 it tells us that it's 31 and a quarter you can say thousands or we can just call it 31 thousands okay now this is the minor diameter <coughs> of the threads because it's an internal thread the major diameter is what the mating part needs to be so that they can mate so what we do is we add this 31 thousandths to the 7 16 this, this tells me that the thread on on this muscle brake is 750 32 so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use it as a gauge. I'm going to go to the lathe and make the male end of it. I'm going to machine it to 747 for uh, for thread. And actually, the formula to figure out the major diameter of a where what where do you need to turn your major diameter is it's major diameter times 0.995. So if the major diameter is 750, 750 thousandths times 0 0.995 that gives us 0.74625 which is precisely that you know I mean it's within 1000, 747 will certainly work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lathe turn a piece of metal down to uh, 746 or 747 and then I will thread it until this one will thread on and that's going to give me the gauge for a perfect fit then I will cut that off so then when I'm machining a tuner that will basically with the same dimensions as this one I will use the thread gauge that I'm going to make on the uh, lathe to make sure uh, to check for fit and once I get good fit, then uh, then I know 
what it is. Okay, now I actually have the barrel here. As you can see, that's a nice, nice fit. So anyway, what if we didn't have the uh, muscle brake? How do we figure out the thread size? Well, that's pretty easy actually. This is the easy part. Same thing, you use your thread pitch gauge. The barrel has these threads on there. And the gauge has teeth that mate exactly. Basically, it's a, it's a 32 TPI thread on here. So basically, when you're checking for fit, you make sure that the, the gauge fits perfectly in here. If it doesn't fit perfectly, you change to another, uh, you get another leaf out and try it again. You know, that's one way. The other way is you could actually try it, you know, and, and mate this part. So anyway, we came up with the 747. Let's measure this one and see what it actually is. I'm coming up with 748, but calipers are not the best best way to measure. This is this is the real deal right here. I'm getting 748, so that's real close to where it needs to be. It has two thousands clearance. Okay, guys, that's a quick way to identify thread pitch. Uh, you know external and internal pretty uh, pretty straightforward and uh, especially if you understand how threads work uh, let me know if you guys want me to go more in detail and into threads and, and exactly how they how they work and what they mean you know major diameter minor diameter thread pitch diameter all that good stuff so you know if you want to hear more about that just you know Post it on the comments and uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll work on that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start getting into machining now. I, I think I covered almost all my all my tools. I mean, I still have to do a video on the scales. And uh, I have this cool little toy here that I need to do a video on. And uh, I was playing with it a while ago. So as soon as I have some time, I'm gonna do a video on that. So anyway, see you guys next time. Have a good one.